Hi everyone, Sheila here with my weekly update. So this week I want to share a little bit about the highs and lows of creating and sharing art. So this week I had some good news in that I had a piece of work accepted um, for an actual, an actual physical exhibition, which is quite exciting, but I'll tell you more about that exhibition probably next week. Um, but it was making me reflect on um, just that whole kind of nervousness about submitting a piece of art um, and I suppose how subjective a lot of art really is. Most people have an instant reaction to something, they either like it or they don't like it or they're a bit indifferent. Um, and as an artist, putting yourself out there, that's, um, that's quite a big thing to do because obviously we all want people to like our work and like it enough, hopefully, to buy it as well. But there's always that bit of worry about whether or not you're actually good enough, you know, that kind of imposter syndrome that I think everybody has. So I was really pleased about that. And it was also making me think about something that I wanted to share with you that I have watched. It's a program um, which is still on BBC iPlayer about um, Maggie Hambling, the, the artist Maggie Hambling. It's called Making Love with the Paint. Really interesting documentary about quite, um, yeah, I felt obviously a very well-known and recognised um, artist, but someone with a very strong personality and someone who provokes quite strong reactions in their work. And of course, this week, um, <laughs> she did it again um, with the unveiling of her statue for Mary Woke Wollstonecraft. Sorry, I can never say that properly. Anyway, <laughs> um, the statue that she has um, created um, in memory of this um, leading early feminist writer, um, which was crowdsourced, um, probably a lot of you are aware about the Im gender imbalance with statues. There was a survey done a couple of years ago and <laughs> Surprise, surprise, the disproportionately um, high amount of male statues compared to female statues. And of course this year there's been lots of controversies about statues. Um, but interestingly, the person that has the most statues is actually Queen Victoria, but kind of by the by. But anyway, Maggie Hamling's statue of Mary Wollstonecraft um, has been quite controversial. Um, I don't know if you've seen it, but it's a naked woman kind of rising out of different kind of naked forms or female forms um, and a lot of people haven't really liked it. They think that it's quite exploitative um, and others, uh, including the artist, said no, actually it's kind of reclaiming um, the female body, the, the, the female form. Um, very controversial. I put a little thing, you might have seen it on my Instagram, asking people what they thought and overwhelmingly people weren't that positive about it. Not that my survey makes that, that much difference. But I think it just shows you that actually sometimes having a bit of controversy and maybe having an initial reaction that you don't like something can change when you find out more about the work and the context that it was made in. And most artwork has some kind of political context whether that's small p or large p. Um, we're all, um, I suppose, we're all living in our time, so whatever we're doing and it has some reflection on that. But yes, art is very subjective and it's something I think as artists we have to live with all the time. So one of the things that I know I'm really trying to do and I've been trying to do it more of the last year or so is actually have confidence and courage in what I'm creating and as long as I understand it and I like it then that's the main thing and obviously making these videos is a way for me to kind of share a bit more about my thinking about my processes with you as well and it's actually um, making me think more about what I'm doing because I'm not going to share it with you later as well so um, that's been really positive but I just wanted to share a bit um, of that with you. I don't know what you think about, about that statue, if you've seen it, but you could let me know in the comments. And again, all your comments um, are really, really motivating to me. So thank you for doing that. Um, I hope you're all having a, a good week. Um, I'm going to be sharing some more news with you next week. But again, if there's anything that you would really like me to explain or talk about, then please do leave a comment or get in touch with me. Um, you know, have a look at the website, which also I got a bit of feedback from this week. So I've done a few changes to the website. So again, I'd like 
love any feedback that, that you have. But if there's anything you want to find out about or want me to share it, then, then just get in touch. And, and again, if you haven't already, you know you can always keep up to date with me through my mailing list. So go to howshilasees.co.uk and I look forward to giving you another update next week. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great weekend and take care.